Hello! Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Heather. Today we're gonna make pork sliders and potato fries. I've actually never done potato fries before but we're gonna start by preheating. Actually no we're not gonna preheat because it'll take a while to do the potato fries. I actually went and bought potatoes last time I went shopping because this is actually something I've always wanted to do. So we're gonna move some things out of the way so you can see me make the potato fries. It's gonna be quite fun. We've got some nice spices here. And we've got a nice little cutting board for the and we're going to get a knife. I'm going to rinse it off because the wet knife does better. This knife does better with potatoes, but here we go. I actually wanted to do this for a long time, but you know, I never had the money for potatoes. I got a nice fan named Ryan Turner. Like, he sent me a bunch of amazing cookware and some gift cards, so I'll do some more exciting episodes very soon, but for now you just get the sliders and potato fries. They're not exactly uniform, but whatever, they're nice little wedges. You see, it's gonna be quite nice. Got some oil and some salt and some spice. Very cool, very cool wedges. We're going to toss them in a bowl so we don't make a mess. Oh yeah, nice wedges, eh? Well, they're not exactly wedges, but they work as fries. And if you're like you're asking why haven't I washed them, I'm going to wash them as soon as they're chopped. There's no point in washing all of the potatoes and then not using them. So look at nice clean cut wedges or strips. I guess they're more strips. You have to let the knife do the work, as Gordon Ramsay said. You know, Gordon Ramsay is such an icon. He really is. He really is such an icon, and I'm so grateful that I'm actually able to do an episode with you today. My health's okay. It's okay enough for me to do an episode. I'm just, you know, tired from trip. It took a while to recover from that. So now I'm going to do a nice episode. You know, they're thin, but that's okay. We don't need them too big. They're doing quite well. But you know, potatoes were on sale this time when I actually went to the store, so I'm actually able to bring you some of my talents. Just be kind though, I've never really made potato fries before, so we're just gonna see how they turn out. They're not all uniform because fry, I mean, 
I don't have one of those automatic slicer things. I have to use a knife and hands. Now we're only probably going to use a couple more potatoes because we don't want to do too many at once. We don't want the bowl full. We're going to have different types, different sizes. We're going to have some wedge fries because wedge fries are fun. I'm sorry they're not as nice as the ones you get from the store, but you know what? Potatoes come in different sizes, different shapes. All right, there we go. And I'm just slicing them as I see fit. And I mean, you know, I would do this on MasterChef too, but sadly enough, they don't let Canadians apply for the American version and the Canadian version's not casting right now. So, such is life. I think they've got enough potatoes. We're gonna do a quick wash of the whole bowl. We're going to dump them in the strainer. Just going to leave them there for a minute. Just going to leave them to, to dry for a minute because we don't need them right now. And we need to move the potatoes. As we're done with them, we need to move the cutting board as we're done with it to wash our hands really good with so. Oh, too hot. I don't like to use our hot water. We need to wash our hands very carefully around the potatoes so we don't get them contaminated. And now we're going to make the patties. Doesn't that sound fun? And we're going to clean up later. We're going to do dishes off the screen. All right. Now what we need is the pork. We're going to use nice, healthy looking pork. We need the pan. And this. I'm going to use nice, healthy looking lean ground pork that I got from the store when it was on sale. Just put that over there for now because I don't need it. We need to season this stuff first. never made pork patties in my life, but you know, there's a first time for everything. There. All right, on we go. Here we go. I'm gonna take all this lean meat, crunch it up. Make sure it's nice. Nicely crunched. All right, the camera's running, yes. Yes, it is. We're going to rinse our hands because we're touching the meat again, but we don't want it to get too sloppy. My mom says, my dear mom, Martha Lee Nicole, used to be Cameron, says that it's all about spices, so we're going to get some salt. Spit 
fiddling in there. Mm. Gonna get some lemon pepper. I can open it. And it's not open. <laughs> there we go. That. I'm gonna get some lemon pepper. Not too much because this is really strong. Mm. Gonna rinse the hands off because they are getting a bit messy. And then we're gonna put some seasoning salt. Tad bit of oil, not too much. Not too much, because we need to save most of it for the fries. All right. All right, now what we're going to do is get our pan, preheat the oven because by the time we're there, we need it. We're going to have two things in the oven. But we're not ready for the other thing yet. The other thing still has to... All right, what we're going to do now is make our slider patty. Make our slider patty together. Going to squeeze it. big we'll just take a little off the top. We don't want to make them too big. We really don't, but we're going to make some nice pork sliders. They're not symmetrical by any means. What we're going to do now There we go, have some lovely pork All right 
right. What we're gonna do now is put some goat cheese on top of these very cool looking slider burgers. It's like paste, so you have to be very careful. Just a dollop on the top. Just not too much. There we go. All right. There's that. And now we set this aside. Bring back. Our fries and now we just Season them, oil them, season them some more. Give them good amounts of seasoning. Give them a little more oil. Sea salt. We're going to make them sweet as well, so what we're going to do is get some raspberry grit. Pour that over it. Salty sweet french fries. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Got to make sure they're all caught in sweetness. All right. Got to spray this to make sure the fries don't stick. All right. Canola oil cooking spray. I love it. Quite useful. There, it's canola oil, so it's harmless. Um, right. Dump these, spread them out. What 
I would like to do now. Actually, no, we'll do that. Hmm. What we're going to do now is put them in the oven because it's ready. It's ready. Okay, and now we're just going to wait and I'll see you when everything's done. Welcome back, everyone. It's time to get the burger, the sliders and fries out of the oven. Which we're going to do. I'm going to show them off. Look at that. Nice, eh? And the fries. Look at these handsome devils. How food. Yum. Yum. Good. We're going to put them over on the oven because I've got no other place to put them. But now we're going to prepare the buns. They've already washed, I've already washed my hands. So we're going to get right to it. What we're going to do Cut the crust off the quinoa bread. I don't normally do this. However, It's not a slider unless the burger and bun are both small, but I don't have buns because they're expensive at Christmas time, especially at the trade shows. So this is what I'm doing. I will eat the crust later because I do not believe in wasting food. We don't need them for this purpose right now. We don't like a lot of people cut the crust off their bread. I don't know why, but they do. But this actually has a purpose. There we go. All right. Now we'll take the ketchup. Just a tiny bit in the middle. Not much mustard either, not much relish. Not much relish either, just a dollop. a bit much relish but it stays it stays because it's just too messy to get it off all right now we're going to get the burger push these crusts out of the way going to get the burger going to use a trusty spatula that I have in my collection Use that one. Trusty spatula. Rinse it off. And 
In fact, you can actually be here to watch when I get the food. Here's that. go okay now this is the more delicate part all right now that the, the slider is prepared we're gonna add ingredients we're gonna add some gherkins And gherkins are baby pickles that require just enough care that we need the cutting board. And you need this type of knife because this type of knife, this type of knife is very, it's good for tiny ingredients. Pickles. Baby pickles. And we don't want too much sweetness. And you can also chop a gherkin this way if you're very careful. One wrong move in handling this knife and you could cut a finger off to be very fair. So you have to be careful how you do it. This is why you ought not to use these type of knives unless you know what you're doing. Oh. Rinse the cutting board because we are using dairy now. Give it a good wipe. I'm going to use some more cheese. You have to be very careful about how thin. Of course, we're not going to put that much cheese on. There we go. Put it on the other side. Just a thin, thin slice. All right. And now we're gonna put some of these French crunchy toppers. Right, come and see what I've done. But we're going to also put a dab of ketchup on this side as well. Just a dab. Come see what I've done here. Look at that. Very cool, eh? And I'm going to take a picture on the phone as well. Now what we're going to do, slide it over, crunch it down, Slide it over, crunch it down, there we go.
right, what we're gonna do now is something quite delicate. We're gonna wipe the plate of the excess crap. There, we're just gonna do that and get ready for the fries. Dry this off. Right, look at that. It's not perfect by any means. There we go. Pork, sliders, and potato fries. And that's cooking with Heather, inviting you to have a lovely day.